42 of Justin Marks, and the caution comes out once again. 19 was trying to go to the bottom, and Marks was going to the bottom, and 19 just needed to check up just a little bit and give him some room, and then he got the car overcorrected and hard impact in the wall. Huge impact. Yeah, it is. You see how easy it is when that car starts to spin, you want to put turn the wheel to the right to keep it from spinning, but if you turn too much wheel to the right, it hangs a right and it makes heavy head on a contact. Take another look. 3,400 pounds of race car off the ground after slamming into the wall. I think there was a little bit of a storm brewing there because the leaders were all coming out of the pits uh, on fresh tires and we were all trying to stay. Uh, we were trying to stay out there as long as we could on some of the older tires. So there was a big difference in speed. And I think the 19 just got a big run there. And, <clears throat> you know, I don't know. It, I mean, it, I got hit from behind. And that's always that's always a bummer. I saw that he had poked the nose out and that he was coming with a lot of speed. But I was trying to pass the 93 there. And, um, and you know, he did what he did. And we got a tore up race car. It sucks. When you say he did what he did, what, what exactly do you mean? Well, I hit us, spun us out. Do, do, do you feel like there may have been something more to it than just a simple racing accident? No, I mean, well, I, I don't, it depends on what your definition of a racing accident is. I mean, those guys had tires and he was racing for the win and we weren't that good and he was, he was trying to make up as much time as possible and, and uh, you know, I was trying to do the same thing and there's, there's limited space out there. So, I mean, I mean, I like Daniel, I don't think he did anything on purpose, I don't think he did anything stupid. I think, I think it was just, it was a pretty optimistic move.